Are you looking for an easy way to expand your security delivery while reducing your operational overhead and increasing visibility across your security infrastructure? Welcome back to our Go Deep with Google Cloud Armor series, where we do demonstrations on capabilities and features so you learn what's available, how to use it, and how you can leverage it in your environment. In our previous video, we covered monitoring and dashboarding to make sure Google Cloud Armor is properly protecting your organization. Now, we'll demonstrate how to keep your organization even safer with Infrastructure as Code, IAC automation, and security operations or SecOps integrations with third-party tools. Check out the link in the description to see the other videos in our series playlist. Automation and integration with your broader SecOps framework are indispensable tools to have when creating a unified security approach. They help decrease operational overhead and allow for increased visibility across the different aspects of your security posture. Google Cloud Armor configuration and implementation can be automated in many ways, leveraging command line tools and REST APIs. Plus, just like Google Cloud is built for partners, Cloud Armor provides seamless integrations with many third-party vendor tools. For this video, we'll cover how to use Infrastructure as Code Automation with Terraform to seamlessly perform actions in Cloud Armor, integrating with a tool to publish information and alerts through different channels for greater visibility. In this case, we'll use Slack. And we'll do an overview of integrating with a SIM tool to gain visibility for Cloud Armor events within your organization's SecOps systems. Check out the description for the timing of each of these so you can go to whichever one you want at any point. Let's get into it. For this first demonstration, we'll show the use of Terraform as a way to manage your Cloud Armor deployments. Terraform is an open source software tool that lets you create and manage your virtual and cloud infrastructure, such as the REST APIs for Cloud Armor, through code instead of manually. This pattern is also known as Infrastructure as Code, IAC. You can set up Terraform code for Cloud Armor security policies once and automate the deployment of the right policy quickly and easily when you need it, like when you're under attack. And you don't need to worry about the specifics of Cloud Armor itself. You can use the Terraform language you may already be familiar with and maybe even use with other parts of your cloud, networking, and security infrastructure. This provides a seamless way to perform actions in Cloud Armor without having to use the UI and to even be able to automate those actions. We'll be leveraging the Terraform provider to automate the deployment of policy and rules. You can check out the link in the description for the Terraform provider. For the demonstration, we'll show how to deploy the Web Application Firewall, WAF, update the configuration and rules, and align WAF updates with their existing pipelines, all using Terraform. To begin, we'll start in the console and open Google Cloud Shell, and then the editor. Here, I've prepared a Terraform script that was built out for a new Cloud Armor policy. You can check the link in the description to see the GitHub repo where this came from. So now I'll open the terminal again. And initiate a Terraform plan using the command Terraform plan. It'll recap everything in the Terraform, and I'll apply this new policy using the Terraform apply command and type yes when I'm asked if I'm sure I want to perform these actions. It'll take a bit for this to go deploy. Now, if we go into our Cloud Armor portal, you may have to refresh the page if you already had it open, we'll see the new infrastructure as code security policy that we just deployed using Terraform. Now, we'll look at how to add another rule using Terraform. Google creates pre-configured WAF rules for some types of vulnerabilities, and you can easily deploy them through your Terraform. So again, I'll open up the editor where I have that pre-deployed Terraform plan, and I'm going to add a pre-configured WAF rule for this and save it.
Then I'll reopen the Cloud Shell terminal and use the Terraform plan command and then Terraform apply to deploy the change to the rule. Once the rule is deployed, we can again go to the Cloud Armor section of the Google Cloud Console UI, click on the policy we've been manipulating, and we can see the new WAF rule has been inserted into our policy. That's how easy it is to use Terraform to complete actions in Cloud Armor. If you're not using Terraform, all of these Cloud Armor features we showed can also be set up, modified, and edited using our REST APIs, either directly or through some other automation framework. For our next demonstration, we'll show how to configure the WAF to integrate with a monitoring and notification tool. Within our Google Cloud environment, we have the ability to push information through multiple channels like mobile devices, PagerDuty, Slack, webhooks, emails, SMS, and a PubSub channel. For the purposes of our demo today, we'll start by setting up a notification channel to Slack. Let's go to Cloud Monitoring and click on Alerting in the left-hand pane. Then click on Edit Notification Channels. Scroll down to the Slack integration, click on Add New, and it'll redirect you to authenticate with Slack. Once authenticated, enter the name of the Slack channel and provide a display name for the alert. You can optionally test that the integration is working by clicking on Send Test Notification. Now we've connected our alerting system into a Slack channel where we can send alerts from the PHP rules that we created in one of our previous videos, configuring rules and policies. Let's get into integrating with the tool itself. To begin, let's go to Cloud Logging and enter the query to filter to the log lines that correspond to requests with PHP vulnerability, and click on Run Query. Now, let's create an alert for when Cloud Armor detects PHP vulnerabilities. To do that, click on Create Alert, provide a name for the alert policy, let's call it PHP Alert, you can optionally include documentation, for example, playbooks that should be leveraged by your teams when they receive this alert. Click Next, and note that the query we initially entered in Cloud Logging is populated under Log to Include. We set the notification frequency and auto-close duration, and click Next. For notification, select the Slack channel we created and optionally email as well. Click Save, and we've created our alerting policy. And if we go into our Slack channel, you can see that the alert was triggered for a PHP vulnerability that I simulated in the background. For our final piece, we'll show an overview of how we can integrate with a SIM tool. As in our previous video, Monitoring and Dashboarding, where we use the Log Data Sync to create dashboards in Looker, we'll need a Log Data Sync to connect our data to the SIM tool. As a refresher, options for Data Sync destinations are many, including Cloud Logging Buckets, BigQuery, Storage Buckets, PubSub Topics, integration into Splunk via PubSub, or the REST APIs, integration to Google Cloud Chronicle, or a third-party SIM tool. In this case, we would choose a PubSub topic as our data sync destination. Once we create the sync, it'll show up in our log router, and we can now use it to integrate with a SIM type tool. For more information, refer to the link in the description that walks you through how to do the end-to-end -end integration with SIM tools using PubSub and Dataflow. IAC automation and integration with different SecOps tools helps provide a holistic view of your organization's information security and increases the reach of your security policies, all while decreasing operational overhead and increasing visibility so you can rest easy and know that your business is protected. 
Are you using Cloud Armor with any third-party SecOps tools? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to check out the links in the description for helpful information. And if you found the demonstrations in this video helpful, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos in our Go Deep with Cloud Armor series. Wait, what? There's more? Yes, there's more. Even though we've reached the end of this first phase of the series, there is more to come. So stick around for the next phase of the series to go even deeper with Google Cloud Armor. And as always, thanks for watching.